Hello. Welcome to Daily Devotions. Today we ask ourselves. Why must we study the names of God? Let us pray. Heavenly Father. You want us to know you? Many of us know that you, O Lord, exist. We believe it with our whole hearts. But unfortunately, we don't see you as real. Because we have never experienced you. We have only heard about you with our ears. But our eyes have not seen you. We have not seen you manifest yourself in our day-to-day -day lives. Today as we look into the mirror of your word. Let us not just see ourselves. Let us not just see our struggles and our pain. But let us see the God who wants to be seen and known. For Christ's sake, we pray, Amen. Before we continue, I have a favor to ask of you. If you have not already subscribed, please support our work by doing so, and share the video with family and friends. Thank you. Jesus taught us the importance of knowing the names of God. By teaching us how we should begin our prayers. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Matthew 6 9. God's name is to be hallowed. It is to be sanctified. It is to be consecrated. It is to be considered holy. It is to be set apart. Not only in our heads but also in our hearts. And in our lives by being spirit-filled obedient children. All our prayers, petitions, supplications, requests, and cries for assistance must begin by hallowing God's name. Job says, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you, Job 42 5. When Job had a head knowledge of God, he went about living his life just as he pleased. But when he saw God everything changed. God wants to be seen and known. And as we study his names, he reveals himself to us through his attributes. A study of the names of God is a study of his glorious attributes in a way that is more personal and personally applicable to real life situations that we face. Solomon says in Proverbs 18:10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous man runs into it and is safe. How can you run to something you don't know? The difference between those who know or have seen God and those who have only heard of him by the ear are always shown when calamity strikes. The psalmist says in Psalm 27. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. How can we know or see God through his name? By studying the attributes of himself that he has revealed to us. His power. His wisdom. His holiness. His justice. His mercy. His truth. So when we pray that his name be hallowed. We mean that all these attributes. May be made known and glorified in our lives. God's glory is the first thing that every child of God should desire. Jesus said, Father, glorify your name, John 12 28. The world was created for the sole purpose of glorifying God. The psalmist says in Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. You were created not for yourself, but to glorify God. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made, Isaiah 43 7. So God's glory is the main thing we should seek. So that in all things God may be praised or glorified through Jesus Christ, 1 Peter 4 11. That is how we shine brightly in this darkened world. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father who is in heaven, Matthew 5:16. Someone has said, God sees us in Christ, but the world sees Christ in us. 
and this is so when we hallow the name of God. Paul says in Philippians 2:5, That you may be blameless and innocent. Children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation. Among whom you shine as lights in the world. When we know the name of God, we are not easily shaken. Psalm 9:10 says. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. When people are running helter-skelter, hitting their heads against the walls. You are unmoved, like the mountains, you are unshakable. Because you trust in the name of the Lord. Do you know the name of God? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. How has knowing God as Elohim changed the way you live? What does it mean to you when we say, God is the creator of everything, and that he created you fearfully and wonderfully. If you know him as Elohim, then why do you fret and worry? If he is Elohim to you, then you know that nothing is too hard for him. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 32:27. If you know him as El Elyon, then you know he is sovereign and absolute, and in total control, and that nothing can happen in your life without his permission. Therefore when the storms come and the darkness engulfs me, I accept my circumstances, and know that he is using them for my good. And so I can say with Job. But he knows the way that I take, when he has tried me, I shall come out as gold, Job 23:10. And I can give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, 1 Thessalonians 5:18. If I know him as Adana, I acknowledge him as my Lord and Master. I acknowledge that I am his and not my own. I have been bought with a price. And so I glorify him with my body, with my words, and with my thoughts. If I know him as El Roi, then I am saying he is all-knowing, and sees and hears all. So right now he sees my affliction. He is not indifferent to my suffering. And just like he saw the affliction of Hagar, in the wilderness and came to her aid. He shall come to my aid too. For he is a God who does not change. If I know him as El Shaddai, then I am acknowledging that he is the all-sufficient one, whose grace is sufficient for me. When I am weak, he is my strength. His power is perfected in my weakness. I will never come away from him wanting, because I find him sufficiently sufficient. When I come to the end of myself, and I find that Jesus is all I have left, I know he is enough, for he is El Shaddai. Time will now allow us to talk about him being Yahweh, the self-existent, covenant-keeping God. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider, who asks us to open our mouths wide so that he can fill it. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, who heals us physically and spiritually. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord our banner, who leads us to war and has won the victory for us. Jehovah Mekedisem, the Lord who sanctifies us to live holy lives. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace who grants us rest when all around us is falling apart. Jehovah Sabbat, the Lord of hosts who stands by our side in times of affliction, conflict, and warfare. El Aroi, the Lord my shepherd who is constantly watching and caring for his flock. Jehovah Ezra, the Lord our help who constantly whispers in our ears I will help you. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there, whose glory is ever present with us, living in us. Do you know the God you worship? Let us pray. Father Lord. Reveal yourself every day to us. Let us crave to know you and your ways. May we glorify your names every day in our lives. We ask this in Jesus' name, Amen.